Hi, I would like to talk about few more applications of immobilized stem cell. First one is D-amino acid production. The production of D-amino acid is very difficult in using the chemical process because most of the chemical reaction do not have the chemical spe uh, chiral specificity. So in immobilized enzyme, using immobilized enzyme, we can actually produce D-amino acid from the L-amino acids. So it is a two-step process. First, the L-amino acid is converted into an intermediate by using D-isomer specific hydrotegnase. And this intermediate is again converted into uh, acted upon by D-case. Uh, D-case will convert into the D-amino acid. By this way, we can actually produce D-glutamate. Uh, D-glutamate uh, D-glutamate is produced from glutamase. So, for this reaction, we use glutamate resumase and L-glutamate oxidase. It's actually an enzyme immobilized process with the two enzymes. So, we will have two different uh, columns. The first column, we will have immobilized the glutamate resumase. So, it will do the first step. And once the first step is over, the, the intermediates will be fed into the second column. In the second column, we will have L-glutamate oxidase. So, together these two columns, the L-amino acid will be converted into D-amino acid. D-amino acid very, is very important in the food and pharmaceutical industry. And this, uh, both of this enzyme can be mobilized by adsorption, but adsorption is a non-covalent binding, stability is less. So, after adsorption, it is stabilized by cross-linking. So, we are using two different te techniques of immobilization together to give uh, the conformation stability to the enzyme due to the adsorption and stability by using uh, cross-linking. Another thing is production of antibiotics. Many different antibiotics we are using today are semi-synthetic antibiotics. For the semi-synthetic antibiotics, we will do the first step of the antibiotic production by using the traditional fermentation method. After the uh, traditional fermentation, we will actually chemically modify the antibiotic to get the desired product. So the disadvantages of chemical modification is like it is uh, is not that specific or chiral specificity is not that high. So what we do, we are replacing the chemical process with the biological process of immobilized enzyme. So immobilized enzymes are able to uh, to do the conversion of the penicillin into the semi-synthetic penicillin more efficiently. One of the classical examples of production of semi-synthetic uh, antibiotic is by penicillin. So, for the production of uh, semi-synthetic penicillin, we need 6 amino penicillinic acid, which is contained in the beta ring, which is used as a substrate for the production of semi-synthetic penicillin. It is actually produced by uh, enzyme called the penicillin G acidase. So we take the penicillin and we will add the uh, we will have a uh, immobilized penicillin G acidase. So this penicillin G acidase convert penicillin G into six amino penicillinic acid, which contain the beta lactone ring. It can be again used for other modifications and the antibiotic production. Most of the antibiotic, uh, which is are semi synthetic nature, and 6 amino penicillinic acid, 50% uh, of 6 amino penicillinic acid is produced by this enzyme production, uh, enzymatic conversion of immobilized enzyme. Penicillin acylase is actually isolated from Escherichia coli and the Bacillus megatidium. Enzymes are covalently linked uh, to Cephalax. Uh, Cross linking uh, is also done to increase the stability. Ambicillin can be produced using this method. Uh, for that, we are using phenyl glycine methyl ester and the 6 amino penicillinic acid. We are using this thing along with the penicillin G acylase from Escherichia coli uh, to make the semi synthetic ambicillin. Bacitracin. Bacitracin can be, it's a um, antibiotic we are using nowadays. If you are going to the hospitals, sometimes they will give bacitracin. Uh, it is produced by bacillus. So, bacitracin can be produced by immobilized bacillus cells. We are not immobilizing the enzyme, but we are immobilizing the whole cell. So, polyacrylamide gel is used for the immobilization of cell, and this cell is not growing. So, but cell, cell is already having all the enzymes for the production of bacitracin. So, which can be used in extensive period for the production of uh, bacitracin. The uh, thing is that during the production time, we, need, we don't have to worry about the nutritional characteristics, aeration, agitation, things like that because of cells are immobilized. 
The production of bacitracin using immobilized cell are cost effective. Excessive production is possible. It's time saving, inexpensive. Uh, purification and isolation is easy. So due to these advantages, we are preferring immobilized enzymes over immobilized enzymes and cells over the fermentation process. Thank you so much.